Hello to all my friends out there. So two topics I tried to avoid are religion and politics. When I was a hairstylist, if you wanted to be paid, you did not want to discuss these pe these topics because people would really, really get mad. Okay, so now we live in a climate where people are justified in getting really, really angry and they, they could possibly attack you. So you got to be very, very careful. Okay. The Bible clearly states that when, if you're a Christian, when the message of Christ has been preached to the entire world, then the judgment will start. Okay. There's probably not anyone on the earth that doesn't know about Jesus. Uh, they may be in various Christian religions, but they know about Jesus. So, the, the gospel has, met, has been preached to the entire world. At the time the gospel was preached to the entire world, then judgment would come. And I think that's what we're going to see. So we have to be prepared for that. Not saying God's going to wipe us out. Just saying that it has been, the, the message of Jesus has been preached to the entire world. Okay, Mexico. They're Catholics, they know. Okay, now, what has surfaced is the book of Enoch. I think that's where the flat earth philosophy comes. The Bible clearly states in the King James Version, do not add to, do not take away. And I went to a religion and they moved a comment, comma. And I said, you know, that is taking, that is moving a comma to alter the um, meaning so there's a lot of a lot of Christian churches and it says in the Bible that will not will not tolerate sound doctrine they have their own books they've added their their ministers write copious amounts of books also if you want to get your um, you want to get your tax status, you have to comply with certain certain things. You have to do certain things. And what I think I see is the um, some of the churches have been breached, and they're like community centers. They're like community centers, which is good, but it's not exactly the same. Okay. The flat earthers are serious. These people are serious about the flat earth about their philosophy so if you want to hear the book of enoch you can go to richie from boston and he has posted uh the the entire thing and you can listen to it okay so now politics okay i don't think any of us can could imagine say 10 years ago the way uh, the the politics is now and it is is a bit dangerous so um, Say the Mormons that were slaughtered the kids that were slaughtered in in um, Mexico That could be to create a race war we have to uh, It's been said that there's going to be one and there very well could be so also it could be that uh, they were just murdered for their property so the politics is is um is um people are very upset about the politics the right is just as bad as the left and some of the stuff is just as stupid actually um so um in order to create a war, both sides have to be willing to fight. So, um, two things, I, and this is why I, I don't want to lose my followers because they don't agree with me on religion. 
because I, I believe every follower that I probably have knows about Jesus and I look at it this way if you want to if you want to embrace the Christian religion that's nice if you don't that's okay too it's not it's not affecting me one bit it's not if and what you what I think is not affecting you one bit that's just the way it is and for politics you know um it usually goes one or two one or two terms democrat one or two terms republican because they can't go over two terms so it just depends the way the the vote is going so um i would suggest that you keep your eye on these two issues because in the Bible, uh, there's there's things said, um, there's going to be offenses to children. Uh, a mother is going to turn against daughter. Friend is going to turn against friend. This can be expected. Politics. Okay, um, you know the the... The news has been clearly biased for a long time. And it's a source of irritation if you want to watch the news and you want to see what's going on. And they have lost a lot of views because of it. Because a person, it's like, if you want to find somebody who's going to report the news the way you want to hear it, now you can go on the social media. So, okay, you guys, that's my spin on it. And I hope if, if you are offended by something I say, you say to yourself, well, you, you have your opinion and I have my opinion, and that's the way it is. It's not personal. Okay, you guys, God bless you all.